Hello and welcome to my daily vlog of life on a beef and animal farm here in South Yorkshire. Um, me and Andy are going to get fired away, blow some straw in and feed some cattle. And uh, yeah, job's going to get busy. So Andy's just unloading a delivery at the minute. So he'll be getting on the 130 and doing the straw blowing in him in a short while. And I'll jump on the TM JCB and feed around the cattle. So where we go around here, feed all these pens out. It's very, very windy this morning. Last night, the uh, wind was actually howling at home. Um, I don't think we've got any damage though, looking around the farm as of yet. Morning, Andy! <laughs> so, hello. So feeding out, oh, no, that was shutting the door. <laughs> feeding out to these guys. The, uh, the troughs are empty this morning though. Hungry. We've got plenty of this bashed in. Keep them performing. So again, this is a little bit concerning. Not so worried about the black one. The brown one's still laid down, everyone stood up. What's happening here? So we'll have a walk up to him. I think you're fine. Does she stretch when she gets up? Yeah, she is stretching, isn't she? Yeah, she might be alright, she might just be being lazy. Are you just being lazy or are you feeling under the weather? You don't look like you're empty. Yeah, you? sometimes look like they're empty. She might just have had too much barley, I think, maybe. No, she's just a bit steady. I'm not really. I think she's alright. Oh, he, sorry, he, I think he's all right. Busy looking at my camera filming it that I'm not working out what sex it is. Don't make that mistake, guys. Andy is major struggling with the wind. There's a lot of it coming out of the shed rather than going in it. You can see it just battering the, uh, the straw in the back of the machine. Oh well, the struggles. Tell him when it's a windy day that we're going to have to use forks and put it out by hand. <laughs> I don't think you'd like that. We need to do some milling today. I am not looking forward to that. Um, I think we'll just do, literally do enough to um, to get us through until tomorrow and then, yeah, the wind will just blow it everywhere. It should disappear. And he's down there, it's a nice background picture to it, isn't it? Blowing a wet bale in by the looks. do not look a very good one. And it's just going to get spun round now. And backed onto a bale. Pressure's on. Quite tight together, these two bales. Business. Oh, my dad's just feeding out a bit there. We've got Andy and Squish waiting to come in here. It's coffee time. Andy's putting in a bale of hay. Yeah, let it go, Andy. I'll get it unwrapped for him. The MX manual been treating some with bad feet this one had a little bit of a, a limp so we put some blue spray on him oh no he didn't have a limp did he <laughs> that's when we got out extra oh we got peacock and beans in here now come to fix the tm so we'll um, we'll get this up the yard for them yes yeah, so it's gonna fit that um, little pipe extension just to hopefully take away the vibration to that t t piece so just right next to the transmission and we reckon the vibration of the transmission is loosening off that t-piece quite regular and um, yeah so hopefully the little adaption that is created is just a, a little section of pipe probably like that long might just turn that vibration out and, uh, so we're just looking for some cattle now in here there's plenty of them just need to select the right ones 
So I just had my dinner, um, and it's just starting. Just stayed at the reversing me for the JCB is up to something. Um, we're gonna get in the lorry, take some um, cattle now, and then I'm gonna pop to a place called Melvin Cars, which is um, it's like a agricultural place that sells all sorts of different bits for farming. Um, but we're gonna look for a foot bath um, and then try and make some little races around the farm to run whole pens of cattle through it to try and get on top of this um, digital dermatitis. Because we're having to get odd ones out all the time here and there and then spray the feet and try and clean the feet and da 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 and I think it'd be better just to run the pen through, treat everything in there and then hopefully if there is the bug in the pen it'll not get spread back around if you know what I mean. So anyway it's like what a few other farmers are doing and I thought right we'll try that and we'll uh, we'll give it a shot. Right so I'm on it now in the wagon um, I think I'm actually going to come back for a car and trailer because looking at the room it's I might as well just come back and go in the car. So yeah, we're going to crack on with that I think. Back in the yard, Andy's just shifting his 130 about. I think he's going to get some straw put out. Um, my dad's going round feeding I think. Oh, it's a little bit early, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, I'm doing a mix, that's it. And I'm going to go and pick up some of these foot baths. He wants me to put a bag of minerals in, that's what we were saying. Into a bucket point so you don't have to get off. Oh, Andy's got the mill on now. We're just going to have to do a little bit of milling, literally the minimum that we need because it don't look it at this minute in time but it is windy. Yeah, it'll just be blowing that, uh, blowing that stuff everywhere. Right, I'm going to go and borrow a trailer and pick this uh, foot bath up. <sighs> so things can only get better, eh? Uh, my dad made sure that I got out of yard, get out of yard quick so you can get through traffic jam, uh, ring people up way to sort out a trailer. Um, <laughs> tried but everybody seems to either be at Selby Market or the other people that we borrow it off their sites locked up until half past four because they've gone out to come back in so now I'm having to go back to the farm to get in the lorry that I've already been in to take the cattle to uh, yeah to go and pick these up so I thought we were saving a penny by not taking the uh, taking the lorry and uh, yeah it just cost me a lot in time not worth it Fun days! Here I am at Melvin Car Limited. Gates and everything. Water troughs, anything you want. It's foul weather here, but literally anything you want. You can have cheap netting, gates, draining stuff, um, everything and all sorts. Yeah, do a dance for you, too, Barry, no? <laughs> <laughs> so we're just having a look round, round the shop. Plenty of. Yeah. Shoe shandies. Every tractor conceivable in toy format. Bruder tractors, look. I can't see a 215 though. All tools. Every little bit. Fencing. Heat lamps, batteries. Them shovels, really good. We've got a few of them. They're really, really good. So yeah, anything you'd need in farming, really. They have it here at Melvin Cars. Clothes as well, wellies. Posh wellies like Andy's. Oh. There's no what you don't have for farming, is there, really? Yeah, good guys in there. Um, sorted us out with this. Um, <laughs> Oh, creaky, creaky, uh, rinse screen wipers. So I was out with this foot bath, we've got it all on, and we've got some copper sulfate as well, so we're gonna put that in, and um, hopefully, we I will have cattle with no problems with their feet, because we're gonna run them through this um, as often as we can, and it's just gonna make it a little bit easier than trying to just treat individual animals. We'll hopefully just eradicate it from the pens themselves, so, um, yeah. I'm looking forward to using it and better cow health business. Right, I'm back in the yard, oh, finally. Um, so we'll go and find out what Andy's up to. Looks like everything's in the shed. Let's just be doing a bit of tidying up. Everything's munching away, which is good. And we've got a few cattle coming this evening, so we'll uh, put the lights on, ready for when the lorry gets here. It's a foot bath. It's just like um, a bit like a paddling pool, I suppose, but just not as high. Made out of 
tough plastic. It's the wrong way up at the minute. You turn it the other way around. So that should uh, should be up and running tomorrow. We're about done here um, today, but I thought it was about time probably to address all the comments that I was getting last night, which just got a bit... What, a bit? Crazy. Yeah, mega <laughs> crazy. I think somebody thought that we'd um, chopped them up, put her in the muck kill, or fed her to the pigs, or, you know, something along them lines. Like, I think people think that this, because we film every day, Andy, it must be mm. like a, a movie or something. So if Em's not here, yeah. we've either killed her off or... What's the riddle? Whatever, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Em's been um, looking, basically, like, she's been, she's been working here, what, two years now? And the side of the business that she really likes is the cattle. And she's been looking at dairy for few months now isn't it yeah. that she wants to we can't give her basically the experience <laughs> of, dairy. of dairy like we're a beef farm like you can't milk cows here we don't have cattle born here there's no calves she's missing out on all that side and if that's what a passion is then we can't really hold her back so she's just had a few days to really think about if she's had an opportunity basically and she's had a few days just to think about what she wants to do and she's decided that she does want to give it a go at dairy, um, which obviously it's, it's disappointing for me and Andy and everybody here. Like, we're gonna really miss her. Um, and I know you guys will miss her as well on the videos, but I'm sure she'll be doing her own thing. You could follow her actually on Apprentice M on TikTok, as well as Andy, um, which is at Crazy Bull Clothing, before I forget, because um, I normally say Crazy Bull. But um, yeah, you could follow her experience on there, on TikTok. I'm sure that at some point she'll drop in and she'll say hello to us. Um, so we'll be able to give you a back a catch up of Em. But yeah, that, that's the thing. And we didn't really want to say anything until Em wanted us to say something. So um, yeah, there you go. That's the answer. That's the answer that everybody's been looking for for the last few days. But geez, just like sometimes people want to have a private life and just... Just, just just, bear that in mind sometimes. If I'm not saying something, it's not because we've killed somebody. It's because, like, they maybe don't want to be mentioned every single day in the video, you know. But, um, yeah. Hopefully you've liked the video anyway and you've found out what you wanted to find out. Press the like button if you do. Subscribe if you've not already. And I'm sure everyone will wish um, um, all the success and happiness in a new world um, at a dairy farm. So, business. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye. Before we do go, actually, we're going to use copper sulphate in the foot bath over there. Has anybody else got any other recommendations? Because we're quite new to this. Um, yeah. yeah. It's formulin. Formulin. Oh, formulin. Yeah, yeah. formulin. Because um, like blue spray we've used before, but obviously we can't fill that with blue spray. So that's just ridiculous. Mm, got to do the masses and make get through them all. So. Yeah, yeah. So hints and tips on foot baths from you dairy guys. Because we're getting them from Andy right now. Um, let us know. What's, everybody, what's the modern? Yeah, what's the, what's modern, the modern thing to use? What's the in trend thing? Right, we're off anyway. Bye. Yeah.